Hello there and welcome back. This video is going to be about Ansible and how you can use Ansible to read out a value from a file or a specific values and process it as variable and we are going to create uh, scheduled tasks based on that. So what I would like to do is to take an any style configuration file. So let's create one so how should we call it app.config and let's say that this application takes section so section 1 and ip equals 192.168.0.1 and it has a user which is admin and the password which is also admin and uh, we have multiple of these occurrences so technically i just need to copy and paste these great now this is going to be called section 2 and this is going to be user admin and we are going to have a section 3 and the section 4 5 6 7 8 9 and here comes the fun part so what we would like to do is to pull out the from the variable or the configuration file the number of occurrences of the user equals in our file because that would define how many sections we have there so in order to do that we have some trick that we need to use and uh, when you are reading in from let's say uh, output of the shell command so you are registering it it is going to be a little bit tricky to get by with Ansible but now uh, we have this app.config so let's create our how do we call it up play dot yaml what we would like to specify is that the hosts is currently localhost the become is no and the gather facts is also no and we would have some tasks to let's say utilize so basically first what we need to do is to specify the task so the first task is going to get the number of users so get the number of users and we would like to have the shell command execute the following command so grep dash i user equals from the home ansible app.config with the word count dash l this means that this command needs to be executed by the shell module and uh, after it was executed it is nice if we register usernames and let's say how many usernames we have so how many users we have and the debug with the message will tell us so the username count is and we will refer to the usernames that std out now if we execute this playbook how did we call this playbook so app play that yaml whoa it seems like we have this error let me check it so now if i go back to the playbooks and this section we can see that we have a missing dash here, I think. 
Yeah. So, <clears throat> and we also need to replace this one. Great. Now we have a total of nine users. This means that we have around nine sections as well. So the number of sections should be identified as well. So basically, if we say that uh, we want to convert this one to uh, sections, what we can do is to set effect. So setting effect is kind of easy. Set section effect. And set effect is the module name and the sections are going to come from the usernames that std out int so this allows us to convert the string to integer and now what we would like to do is to continue with our configuration so let's assume that uh, we have copied the application to its appropriate folder and we would like to pass uh, these to schedule a cron job and this application each takes a section id on which it needs to work so when it's called it knows which uh, part of the configuration item belongs to it and it will work on that so technically what we would like to do is to <coughs> introduce let's say a new variable so this variable is going to allow us to work on multiple sections the same time so let's call it chunk size and basically we would like to go three by three and now if we have to we can set another fact so we say that the name set chunk per section and this is going to simply uh, calculate the following so chunk per section and we would like to have its value defined the following way so we would like to take the sections as integer and we would like to divide them by the chunk size let me correct the typo and chunk size and we would like to add plus one that will be necessary because uh, we are going to use the sequence uh, from the lookup plugins of ansible so now just for the clarity's sake what do we have let's debug this part and say that our message consists of the usernames and it also consists of the sections and it also consists of the chunk per section great now we have some problem chunk size yay so we have nine username nine sections and we have this four chunk uh, per section which comes from the fact that we have this chunk size 
and we divide it with the sections and give it plus one. Uh, in this case, it may not be necessary to have it here. Oh, let's just remove it. And here comes the fun part. So now we would like to create a cron job. Cron job for the chunks. And we use the cron module. And this Chrome module is taking an argument which is called name, scheduled task for section, and we will be able to refer to the loops variable. So loop, we will define it later. We would like to have a minute specified, so we would like to run each of these sections by, let's say, five minutes. So in order to do that, we need to say that our item as integer, and we would like to multiply it by five. And if we want to make sure that we don't overlap with the hour, then we may as well add the modulo 60. And we would like to run these every hour of every day. Of every month. Of every year. And what are we going to run? So we would like to specify the job. And this job is going to run a shell script. And we would like to run the echo. And what would we like to do? <laughs> we would just simply like to echo the item. And now, how do we say to the for loop or the loop that uh, we would like to have a list which goes from one to uh, our number of, let's say, sections or chunk per section? So what we can do is to use the lookup module. So lookup is a very useful module and it allows us to use a function which is a sequence and the sequence function takes something called start which is going to be one and the end which is going to be you won't guess it is going to be our chunk per section and we would like to split hold on look up we would like to split it whatever the output is by this column and technically that's it so now if we execute this oh boy so supported parameters Loop. What? Oh, not here, sorry. Weekday. <coughs> Great. Now, if you check our cron tab, we can see that we have the scheduled task for the first section starting at every five minutes another one for the second section 10 minutes and another one for the third and if we want we can just simply undeploy these cron jobs and in order to do that we need to say that the state is absent and voila 
So this was all I wanted to show you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.